Here's how to use Nano Banana in Photoshop. So in Photoshop beta right now, but when you watch this, it might not be in beta anymore. You can change the AI model that you use for image generation to Nano Banana. And so to do that, what you would do is make a selection where you want this image to be. Maybe you want to select everything in your document. That would be Command or Control A. You can go up to Select All. And then once we have everything selected, you can go to Edit down to Generative Fill. And it will open up this little dialog window. And you see this FI? This is the model that it's using. So we click on that and we can change to the partner models, one of which being that Gemini 2.5, so Nano Banana. We click on that. It might give you a couple prompts while you're doing this, like letting you know that you're using a partner model, etc. But you can skip all that and then you can prompt it whatever you want. Maybe we'll do a dog with a red hat, for instance. And then we can generate the image. Now, if you don't have Photoshop beta, I'll show you how to get Photoshop beta as well. Uh, because this won't work in regular Photoshop right now. But it's going to generate this image, and once it does that, boom, we've got this dog. I would say that the aspect ratio, it's a little bit skewed, right? So you can take that image, you know, we've got this layer over here. You can take it and kind of scale it down, hold shift, and it will actually kind of stretch and skew until it looks a little bit better. It just kind of depends on what your image looks like when it comes out. But there you go. I've got a dog with a red hat. We weren't any more descriptive than that, but it generated this image for us with Nano Banana. Now, how do we get this or how do we get Photoshop beta? So if you open up your Creative Cloud app and then you look at the apps, right? That's all your uh, essential apps in your Creative Cloud plan. What we do here is there's this bar at the top and you might have to scroll over a little bit, but there's gonna be this segment section called beta. We click on beta and we can see all of the different programs that are in beta and we can download and install them. So for instance, if I wanted to install the Illustrator beta, it's right here, I can click install. I already installed the Photoshop beta, so that said install and I clicked on that and then now I can open up Photoshop beta. It's separate from the uh, current version of Photoshop when you have it installed. So opening it and uh, working with it is gonna be a basically kind of like a different beta program than the Photoshop uh, that's available publicly. And the icon looks different too. You can see that it kind of just looks like it has a grid behind the letters versus Photoshop is colored in. So it's pretty easy to keep those separate, uh, but this is how you can use Nano Banana in Photoshop. So that's it. That's how to use Nano Banana in Photoshop.